Hi guys, this is John with Music Greatness. Today we're looking at Don't You Worry About A Thing by Stevie Wonder. We'll start with the intro, which sounds like this. So what you just heard there was the intro to Don't You Worry About A Thing. This consists of a series of patterns which follow the shape of three different chords. So first of all, let's break them down. We start with E flat minor. So that's a single E flat in the left hand and then G flat, B flat and E flat in the right hand. Next we have a B flat augmented. That's B flat for the left, G flat for the right hand, B flat and D. And then finally, an E flat minor seven. So it's the same as the beginning, except the top note is now a D flat. E flat, G flat, B flat and D flat. So we'll start off with the left hand pattern, which looks like this. We start with an E flat, followed by an E flat an octave higher, and then a B flat, followed by a B flat an octave lower, and then we finish this bar with another E flat. So the timing there is one, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, and three, and four, and. So that's the first bar. Then the next bar is an E flat, B flat, another B flat, an octave lower, and then back to that original B flat. So the timing of that bar is one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Then if we put those two bars together, we have this. One, two, and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now, your right hand is going to be doing exactly the same rhythm as in this first bar and half of the next bar just using different notes. So the notes here are E flat, B flat, D natural, B flat, D flat. So the whole of that first bar is one, two, and three, and four, and. Same rhythm as the left hand. The next bar will start with a B flat on the and of beat one, and then a C on the and of beat two. So that'll just be one, and two, and three. And this is where it differs from the left hand because the left hand has two more notes to play on the and of beat three and on beat four. Whereas the right hand has nothing at the end of the bar. So it's just one and two and three and four. So let's now put the two hands together for these first two bars. One, two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So as I say, we're doing exactly the same rhythm in both hands, except for that second bar where your left hand just does the B flats on its own. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. The next two bars are gonna be exactly the same. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So this whole intro section is made up of 10 sets of two bar phrases, 
This is where Stevie is talking and hasn't started singing yet. The first of these two bar phrases is what you just learned, and we'll play that twice. And then we'll move on to the next two bar phrase. And the only difference here is that the left hand, instead of playing two B flats, will now do B flat followed by D flat. And if you listen to the original record, you might notice that there are many other ways in which Stevie varies these patterns. But in this intro, we're just going to simplify them into three main types. So here's the second variation. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So this D flat down here is the only difference. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So we're gonna do this five times now. The first pattern was two times, and now this is five times, which means this part is 10 bars long. Now we're onto the final three sets of two bars. So again, it's a two bar pattern and the left hand is gonna stay exactly the same as the previous section. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So that's exactly the same as before. Whereas the right hand now is going to outline the notes of the chords that you learned in the chord breakdown. So we're gonna do an E flat minor arpeggio like this. So E flat, B flat, G flat and then D followed by the same two notes again and then the top note changes to a D flat. So the first bar of this section will be one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. And then in the next bar on the end of beat one we have a G flat. Then on the end of beat two, a C. So that's one and two and three. And then on the end of beat three, we have an A flat and then a G flat on beat four. So that whole bar there is one and two and three and four. So the two bars together with just the right hand will be And now let's see how those two hands fit together. So the two E flats are together and then your G flat in your right hand is with the E flat in the left hand. The D in the right is with the B flat in the left and then we've got two B flats together. Then this G flat is on its own. And then to finish this bar, D flat with the E flat. So that first bar is. In the next bar, the rhythm is exactly the same in both hands. So we've got a G flat with the E flat. C with the B flat, A flat with the B flat, and then G flat with the D flat. And so that whole bar is one and two and three and four. One more time, that's one and two and three and four. So now we'll do that three times and that will be the end of this section.
now we're into the verse where Stevie finally starts singing. And as I mentioned, there are many other ways in which Stevie varies these patterns on the original recording as well as on the live versions. If you're interested in diving deeper, we suggest listening to the recordings and seeing if you can pick out some of those alternative notes and rhythms. Now, let's recap the whole of this intro at a slowed down tempo. And now that that's all broken down, let's hear the whole thing one more time at full speed. Alright guys, that's all for the first part of this tutorial. If you'd like to learn the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah.